The vice president is a part of the executive. He is indirectly elected. His manner of election is similar to that of the president. However, his electoral college does not include the members of state legislature. The qualifications of the vice president are identical to that of the president, except in that sense that the president should be qualified to be a member of the Lok Sabha. The vice president should be qualified to be a member of the Rajya Sabha. The term of the office of vice president is five years. The vice president shall address his resignation to the president. The vice president may be removed from his office by the passing of a resolution passed by a majority of the Council of States and then passed by the majority of members of House of People. The resolution must, however, be passed in the Council of States first. A resolution for the removal of the vice president cannot be moved in the House of People first. The vice president is the ex officio chairman of the Rajya Sabha which means that every vice president by the virtue of their presidency are also chairpersons of the Rajya Sabha. This is how, despite the fact that vice president has no other legislative function, he shall become a part of the legislature. The vice president may discharge the duties of the president in his absence, on his resignation, death or impeachment. Though formally all the executive power is vested with the president, the actual power is vested with the council of ministers, which is headed by the leader of the majority party, that is the prime minister. The strength of the council of ministers shall not exceed 15% of the total number of members in the house of people. The prime minister shall be appointed by the president after a new house of people is formed. The newly appointed prime minister shall advise the president as to who will be the council of ministers. The Council of Ministers shall have the collective responsibility of actions of the Union. They shall be answerable to the House of People. The Prime Minister in India is the leader of the Council of Ministers. The Council of Ministers shall hold their positions as long as they hold the pleasure of the Prime Minister. We often see a reshuffling of the Council of Ministers whereby a few are added and a few are removed from their positions. This is entirely up to the Prime Minister. The resignation of Prime Minister would automatically amount to the resignation of the Council of Ministers. The Union Legislature of India is also known as the Parliament. The Parliament shall consist of both the Houses of People and the Council of State, along with the President of India. The House of People shall be composed of a maximum of 552 persons. A maximum of 530 shall be elected from the state. 20 shall be elected from union territories and 2 may be nominated by the president. Uttar Pradesh is the most populous state in India, which is why the most number of representatives are sent by Uttar Pradesh to the House of People. The qualifications to be a member of the Lok Sabha is that he or she must be firstly the citizen of India, secondly not less than 25 years of age and lastly possess such other qualifications as may be prescribed in that behalf by or under any law made by the parliament. The term of Lok Sabha shall be five years, after which the entire body is dissolved and a lo new Lok Sabha, which is elected by the people, shall take its place. The Lok Sabha sessions are chaired by a person who is elected to be the Speaker of the House. The Speaker has immense powers as to the functioning of the Lok Sabha. Rajya Sabha is the upper house of the parliament. The maximum strength of Rajya Sabha has been fixed at 250 members. Of these, 238 are elected representatives of the states and union territories and 12 members are nominated by the president from the field of literature, science, art and social services. The seats are allotted among the various states and the union territories on the basis of the population. The representatives of a state in Rajya Sabha are elected by the elected members of the state legislative assembly. The qualification to be a member of Rajya Sabha is that he or she must be firstly a citizen of India. Secondly, not less than 30 years of age and lastly, possess some such other qualification as may be prescribed in that behalf by or under any law made by the parliament. Rajya Sabha is also known as the permanent house. It is never dissolved in its entirety. Every two years, one third members of the Rajya Sabha retire and representatives are sent by the state legislature. The term of a Rajya Sabha member is six years. The vice president is the ex official chairman of Rajya Sabha and carries out its functioning and in his absence, the functioning of Rajya Sabha is carried out by deputy chairman. The Rajya Sabha and the Lok Sabha are primarily tasked with the function of making laws. 
Each law starts off as a bill introduced either in the Lok Sabha or in the Rajya Sabha. All bills can be introduced in either house of the parliament except money bills which are introduced only in the Lok Sabha. Any member of the house can request the speaker or the chairman to allow for the introduction of the bill. Once the bill is introduced on the floor, the same shall be scrutinized and debated upon. It may be passed after being amended etc with the required majority. If it passes, it will be sent to the other house for debate and scrutiny. After such scrutiny, the other house may amend the bill. If such bill is amended, the amended bill will need to be passed by the first house. After both the houses pass the same bill, the same is sent to the president for his assent. The president may give his assent and the bill will become a law. The procedure for money bills is slightly different. No money bill shall be introduced in the parliament without the recommendation of the president.